Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So we've had a bit of a um, revamp of the channel. So we are now Yorkshire Family Travels. If you're new around here, we are a family who just love to travel about and do fun different things. It is currently the summer holidays in England right now and because me and my brother and mum are all teachers, we are all off right now, my dad's retired. So um, today we're going on a super exciting day. So the plan is, well, the idea is me and Ross, who's my brother, have bought lots of different, we basically planned an entire day out for the family um, for my mum and dad's anniversary, wedding anniversary, mother's, father's day sort of present. It's just a big thing combined. So we've like paid and planned everything. They have no idea where we're going. So it's going to be like a surprise throughout the day, but we've got loads of different things booked. Um, I don't want to say it now because they're downstairs. Um... But you'll see, and you'll see the title and stuff, but we've got like the Mail Museum and some different experiences in York going on. So yeah, it's going to be really super fun. Excited for you to bring you along and to see how the parents react and what sort of day we have. Little side note, when I said things like the Mail Museum, my dad is obsessed with trains. So that is a big reason why we're doing all this stuff and some other bits going on. My mum loves Harry Potter, so that's going to be a big part of the day. Uh, she loves chocolate, so that's going to be a big part of the day. So yeah, there's themes and things going on for both of them that hopefully they're both going to be really, really excited about. You excited? Very excited. You excited, Francis? Oh, oh yeah. Excited. Delirious. <laughs> Ross is grumpy and tired, so we won't film him. But are you excited? What? Are you excited? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I just don't know where we're going. Don't know where we're going. I just don't like it. I do, I just... <laughs> She's gone through... Oh, it's my holiday. It's exciting. This is interesting. It is. You really do look a man, mate. <laughs> no, you cannot. I think you can, but you can. We're going to go for breakfast first anyway. Yeah. That's the first place. In popular opinion. Yeah. Full English breakfast. Massively overrated. Right. Yes, in fact, I never really get full English. I, don't. I love it. I don't. You love it. Love it. Love it. It's a treat. Anyway, let's go get Brecky. Okay, so we're just heading across the main bridge in York. You can see the top of the Minster up there. Now I asked on Twitter where people recommended for breakfast, and this place we're going to came highly recommended, so hoping we can get in. It's called Brew and Brownie, which is just over this bridge. So we're in Brew and Brownie, but we're on separate tables there all the way down there because it was quite busy. So just me and Ross for breakfast today. We've got some cappuccino, decaf tea. Interesting, isn't it, Mum? Happy? veggie roll. Got a bit of granola as well, didn't you? I did. Yum yum. And I got yeah. some quiche. And then these two went for the toasted. They look really nice. Mmm. Is it nice? Dad? Good? Good? So where do you think we're going? The railway museum. Oh. Are you correct? Who knows? Are they correct, Ross? Pardon? Are we going to the railway museum? I thought you were telling them. Well, we're still already in that direction. Oh. When's the last time you went there? We've just, just, just been discussing it. I thought you were going to say, we've just been last week. Said <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you actually not remember the last time you've been there? I don't remember the last time I've been there. Years. Probably 15 years. I think last time I went there, I took Emily when we came to York that one time. I, I haven't been as an adult, I don't I think. with you too, when you were little. Oh no, wait, I think I went well to my friend when he was... Well, I was like 21, so yeah, 10 years ago. More. Yeah, so we are going to the Railway Museum. Yay, I guess that. Woo, is that exciting? Happy with that? It is for your dad. Oh, you don't like the Railway Museum. Well, it's not really my cup of tea, but I'll, I'm happy that your dad's happy. We love, love the trains. Rail, I love the Railway we Museum. <laughs> 
Hopefully it's a bit more immersive than that one in... Um... Oh, here we go. I think the load flies high. When? Last, we went to that, we were on that train. We did. Oh, uh, when we went... <laughs> where were we? Where were that? When did we last go? Where? Where did it? Scotland? Scotland, you're up at... Uh... Or yeah, yeah. This is this museum's better, and there is a little extra thing we're doing at the museum, but I won't tell you that just now. All right. Forgot that there's going to be a lot of kids in here today, but being the summer holidays, but we move. It's exciting, actually, isn't it? It's a good setup. Train, train, train. More trains. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to let Dad lead the way. It's who? It's Brunel. the Bad Kingdom Brunel. Ah. Brunel Brunel. Architect did All the... Oh, uh, yes, 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 I do recognise. No chairs there. Lifting didn't believe in bridge. chairs. You didn't believe in chairs? Yeah. Why? Not enough time to sit down. Oh, I don't want to live that life. <laughs> what is it? Deltic. No. Deltic? Deltic. No. Change much, does it? Well, why does it need to? It's showing off the trains. I know. The history of trains, the history hasn't changed, has it? What's that one? That one there. Hmm. It's a kind of American one, I think they think it's not. With a big headlight. Big train, big guys. I remember I used to love the letter sorting. I hope that's still oh, here. Oh, just about City Autumn poem. Yeah. In your nightmare. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you have to. Yeah, we should try and see if that's still here. We're going to go on the bullet train. <laughs> He's a bit tall. <laughs> this area. Do you feel like a giant? I'd love to do it one day. Fancy being on this to this Tokyo? Is, this is nice. I would, yeah. The well, yeah, they don't look like this anymore. <laughs> look a lot nicer than this, but I would like to do the bullet train one day. So this is your area of expertise, isn't it? Signalling. He knows the guy. You know that guy. And it was built for the oh, what, what does he do in life? Oh yeah, he's been retired now. But what, what did he do in life? The railway, the signalling inspector. Oh, like the Ofsted of signalling. So they can't see one another, they can't hear one another. <laughs> well, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Of and telegraph instruments. We're going to show you just how that works. What I started on the railway in 1969. Do you know him? I trained on the railway in the Victoria. And... Uh, Okay, so your next prize is we are doing this Flying Scotsman, Scotsman VR experience. experience. So, when did the Flying Scotsman, is the Flying Scotsman still a thing? Train? Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. So you can still go on it? Yeah, it's still mainline certified. Oh yeah, it provides passage with an air-conditioned and efficient journey. When was it, when was it made? Built. 1807? Yeah. I mean, that's when like railways opened in, in Britain. Oh. The long that were built, I guess. I'll get it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not my Anyway, opinion. this is what we're going to go on. We're going to go on the Flying Scotsman. Not We've seen. Side. Have you done it before? What? Well, Flying Scotsman. No. Oh, so this is your first time. We should do it. There you go. It's VR, but still. Should be cool. Okay, so we've just done the VR experience of the Flying Scotsman. What did you think? It was fun, yeah. It was fun? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, do you, I thought that was really fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? I enjoy, yeah. Yeah, learned yeah, about how steam trains, trains work. Yeah, work. Didn't like the pigeon that flew in front of you. That, that shit. Yeah. Did you look behind as well? Oh, we're looking yeah, all yeah. around, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I liked when you were on the train and you could see all the stuff to either side of you. So I think that cost The Havilland transport plane was a big uh, Belinda blinked. <laughs> but it mentioned Havilland. That's a very small reference there. Um, so that cost about seven or eight pound each. So it's a place, place going and it was fun. 
So we're going to go on to our next activity. So I think we should get an Uber because it's about a 20 minute walk. Okay. Can we not get the train? Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah fair. So stop one out of 10. <laughs> stop one, not the breakfast. Okay, well breakfast then, we'll stop one. So what was the breakfast out of 10? Five? I want really a breakfast, what A brunch. Well, I'll give that an eight, I enjoyed that. Eight? Eight, yeah. Okay, and I'll give it a seven. And then stop two then, the Bella Museum, with the little plans to got some VR experience. Nine. Nine? Yeah, I'll give it a nine, because it's trains, but not much has changed, so. Yeah, fair, Ross. A bar? Yeah. Hey, I go for the railway museum, you get a railway museum, you can't do much more, can I? Give yeah. it an eight or a nine. Yeah, I'll give it a nine as well. I thought that VR thing was cool. It's fun to learn about little things like that. Right, next stop. Yeah? I've always thought Scarful Pipe were S C A R F and S C A. I've been spelling it wrong. You've been spelling Scarful Pipe wrong, okay. Well, we learned something. Right, we're gonna go on to our next stop. So we're gonna head towards the shambles, which I love. Just got to find the potions cauldron now. Um, which way? Is it this way? There's nothing here. Happy bowel bond. <laughs> There's your next stop. Where? Tourist. The potion's cauldron. Save yourselves, guys. I'll hold the bag. Ordered our drinks. So, Jess's idea was for the small ones for all to go for all one each. But you picked the big bottle one. Come on, come on. Who was it who woke me up this time? Coming in to focus now. Ooh! Ooh, no. Better when your faces were a mystery. Serpent's belly. Look at this hot toddy. At the scale of the jungle of Romatica. To try it's not burn through his palms too quickly. And then pour your liquid into the cap. So you want to fill just the cap to just under the top. Yeah. So you want to pour it just into the cap like that. Once you've filled the cap, pop that liquid into your drink. Once you pop that uh, cap in, just Wait. pop the cap back onto your file. So that file is yours to keep. You can take home, mix water or lemonade, and then I'm going to get the last ingredient. Yeah. Here, Ben, do you want me to do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do And February. So you are Slippy the Conjurer. <laughs> you guys over there? Later. Um, R and November. R and November. So you are Rubix the Great Wizard. That's oh. good, no bad ones yet. <laughs> yeah. Have you? There you go. Yeah. 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 Is the liquid moving? Is he magic? There you go. He's trying to. Uh, why am I Well, there you go. That's it. Yeah, it's brilliant. There it is. 
To send the lift back down, all you have to do is hold the top like that and you can pass it. Did it go in? Okay, so did you like that experience? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, did you enjoy yeah, that? that was pretty good. No, it's cute, wasn't it? It's a different chocolate. Right, yeah, so before we go into our next place, we're going to go to Munkabang Chocolatiers, which is on a shop wall, which is one of my most favourite chocolate shops. Sells little truffles. Champagne truffles. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get a little bang of truffles. Want some truffles? Yeah. Yeah, let's go get some truffles. Just thank you very much. I haven't had you get a bit. Mm, I don't know. Never had a box. Oh dear. Oh, I love truffles. Chocolates acquired. Down at Cocky Feed the Money. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, we're just gonna head down the shambles. Take one to your high potter shop. Yeah, exciting. Show off my Harry Potter bag. Oh, yeah. The shop that was not renamed. You queuing? Yeah. Yeah. Please, please spare. <laughs> well, if you don't want to, it's fine. We'll get back some weird ass. Yeah. I thought you had an engagement. Not for 10 minutes. Oh, you know. It would take you 10 minutes to get in. Yeah, it might take a while. Okay, come on then. It might be open afterwards. Right, let's go. Keep going this way. Why is that one? Very busy. Right. Next surprise. Again, they have no idea where we're going, so this should be exciting. What would you have given that potions out of 10? Nine. I really enjoyed it. Dad Ross, what would you give the potions out of ten? We never did that. Oh, four. Four? Well, I thought it was cute. We, we, we didn't do it. We did. You got to do a little. Five. When, when you said potion making We're going straight. experience, at the very least, I thought you'd be given a little table. Yeah. You'd uh, have a couple yeah. of jars. Literally. I'll admit that I think that we did was really good because we had to put do lots of work and follow light and yeah we in Scotland that was cool if you saw that on the video yeah, whereas no, that was very basic but it was a cute little experience wasn't it and the drink was nice so let's keep going to the next one next one yeah this one yes, yes. excited ready dad Making some chocolate? Yes, this is what I wanted. Is this not the one that I wanted to come to? No, this is a different one. I thought right. we'll try it. <laughs> not excited? Yeah, but I don't want to be eating it. You don't have well, to I eat, eat it. it. I'm going to eat it. You excited? Let's do it. Let's make some chocolate. So this is York Cocoa Works. Hopefully we can film inside. What's your favourite, Ross? Milk or dad? Milk. So you're going to make a... I don't know. Do you want to try my chocolates? Nice. Oh. Mm. 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 Chocolate is cut up. You enjoying yeah. that? You enjoying that? Yeah. Therapeutic. <laughs> and then we're gonna melt it. Mm. Hair dryer. The chocolate melting machine. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, if we're ready, I can just talk you through. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna temper <laughs> our chocolate. So tempering is a really important part of chocolate making. Tempering is what gives you a nice shiny glossy look to your chocolate. Um, it's what gives it a nice melt in the mouth consistency. Done, going into the first setting, the lowest tea setting. And we're just going to hold them over our bowl of chocolate. We're not trying to melt the whole thing. All we're doing is getting that first, first layer nice and melty. And whilst we're doing that, I'll come around and bring some spoons around and we can don't touch the spoon side, we'll use them a little bit. And yeah.
Strawberry and orange. Strawberry and orange. Pineapple and rhubarb. I don't know. Yeah, that was... Thank you and give it a try if you want. Mm -hmm. Can you want the honey in that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Give you a couple of drops of orange. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know it's honey for you as well. So. Yes, please. Strawberry and orange, please. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with all our flavors. Yes, perfect, thank you. Nice. So, wait, wait, guys. What was the first one? Uh, normal chocolate bar. Or a Yorkshire Rose. Yeah. What are you going to go for? Mm. Yorkshire Rose. What are you going for? Oh. What are you going for? Yorkshire Rose. Oh, our best go for the Yorkshire Rose then. Best to have, yeah. Best And then a bit of salt, please. Thank you. I'll put the salt in the corner there, just because it's a little bit Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Perfect, thank you. Looking... Glossy. Glossy. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the toppings. So I'm gonna rearrange that in the mold and then pour the chocolate on top. You doing what? Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, it is, you know. Oh, it is. Good. Needs to be just pouring those on. Lovely. And now I'm gonna do here's mine. Gonna pour mine on. Thank you. <laughs> That's all, get a finger. 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 Finger.
cappuccino, latte. Is it nice? Yeah, do you want a sip? Is it chocolate? Yeah. I'm going to have a sweet text, please, mate. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'll have a sweet. A sweet cat. <laughs> That looks good, doesn't it? Looks great, yeah. Yeah. You got yours? That's yours, isn't it? Ross there again. I've got Ross here. What, there's another one here. No, Ross. Ross, sorry. There's a stuff in there. Oh. Ew. Have a look. What would you pick for your topping? Just, there's just raisins in it. Oh, no. I was looking at the bag, Mum. Mine's not here yet. Away. I don't mind sweet hat. Do you want to come in? Oh. It's hard work these days. Waiting for yours? Yeah. Mm. Gotta wait. Gotta wait for perfection. <laughs> okay, if you're in the car heading to the hotel. What's your preferences with hotels? What would you like it to be like? Me. Both of you. Clean. So you want it to be clean? So all I ask for clean cleanliness. Mum? Um, up to date. Okay. Friendly. Right. Modern and friendly. Hmm. Modern, friendly, clean. Went to one in London and got over it since. Oh, it weren't that it bad. It was an absolute dump. <laughs> Why? So, no. Oh, it was disgusting. It was three star. Three star? Yes. I know straight away when I walked up to stars. Windows. Door. You should have seen stated doors at front, full of fingerprints. Oh, okay, well, fingers crossed for clean and friendly. Yeah, guessed it. Correct. The We're going to the sidings. Oh. Do you want to explain what the sidings is? The signal's there, Dad. Yeah. Oh, you're clear there. What is it, Dad? If you can't see, this is a train hotel. He can't speak his accent. <laughs> oh, wow. That does look brilliant. Is it? Yeah. So what train line's that? That's East Coast Main Line. It's got that, isn't it? Yeah. Very close. No, you're not going to have your modern. Is that alright? Well, let's see. Eh? Looks nice. nice. Let's go. Look him jumping about. <laughs> it's a nice bar, this. Yeah. Good day. It's lovely. What are you thinking? I don't know if they do, but they might do. It's Friday, oh, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder when the Greek night is. I'm not sure. It's very train nerdy. It's cute. Look at that place. How narrow this is. Carriage. <laughs> Old carriage. Wow. Wow. What are we, six and seven? Yeah. Keep going. Oh, well, there's the flying Scotsman. We want to see you go in first. We'll go to ours after. I'll give your dad the keys so he can open it first. You're literally in a train. It's mad by it. Yeah. So there's number seven. You're not next door to us. You should be able to go out there, Dad. Yeah. 
This is cool, isn't it? That's really, really nice. Oh, good. Nice bed. Little... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, a little balcony. Oh, wow. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, wow. This is brilliant. Good. That's, that is class to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. You need to, we need to bring a couple of chairs and we can sit out here. I don't know where we're going to get chairs from. Oh, can we? <laughs> can we sit out here? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. This is cool. Love it. This is great. Are you, are you chuffed? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Oh, good. We smashed it. Yeah. Okay. Have it's that cold. Okay. Oh, it's smashed it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's see what we have to deal with. Oh, <laughs> mm. It's a twin. We've hoped for a twin, but we're not sure. It's not oh, a twin, so we'll no. just have to top and tail. Bathroom still looks nice. Yeah, we'll just have Tally to. Up there. We'll deal. Nice. Yeah, of course it is. It's just obviously it's not ideal for us, but we can top and tail. We'll be fine. And now it's nice, isn't it? As long as you guys were happy, that's what we wanted. That's it. Yeah, it's about you. It's all about you guys. It's not about it's me. It's all about your dad. Let's go out and see those trains, eh, Dad? Yeah. Alright, we'll come in a bit then. Okay. We'll come chill on your balcony. Bye, kids. Bye. Right, it is time for dinner. We're chilling on the balcony, watching the train. It's a bit late for dinner. It's time for tea. It's time for tea, sorry. So we're going to the restaurant at the hotel, yeah, which is like Mediterranean. So it'll be interesting to see what this does. Okay, you know a little carriage spot. With our menu. Oh, you get the lamb. Don't like that. Oh, you don't like that. No. Wanna get the pot belly? I love lamb. I sure like pot belly. Yeah. Literally everything comes up. Oh, I'm gonna get a steak. I don't mind if it's said, you know. Like, try it, try it, please. That's a straight gin for mum. <laughs> it's interesting to give you water in a gin glass. Jess? Yeah, just a touch, please. Thank you. I'm thirsty. Just a touch, sweet. Yeah. Okay, I've got some meatballs to start. And my dad has shown a flatbread, and Russ has got some phyllo pastry. Is it nice? Mmm, -hmm. mm, good. Okay, mains arrived, me and dad got a steak. Mum got, it was like a Cypriot beef stew. Mm -hmm. And Ross got his halloumi burger. Yum yum. Okay, so we had dinner, which was nice. We headed back to the rooms, chilled for a bit, and now we're just gonna kind of turn in. It's been a long day, super tired, but we will see you in the morning when we have breakfast and check out. Um... Morning. 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 Right, we're up. Sleep well? Yeah. Yeah, mostly slept. Mm. Trains are loud. <laughs> were they? Yeah. All night? Mm, no. I'm going to say. It stopped and then it got loud again at like six. Yeah. So when did you shut it? Uh, about midnight. Well, you've had the door open? I had the door open for a while, yeah. Yeah, all right. Wow. And then shut that. So yeah, I'm going to go get some bracky. Mm. Our breakfast looks nice. Ross went for a sandwich. Yeah. View of the track. Right, we have checked out leaving side ins. Fab little stay. Obviously, if you're a train nerd, you love that. So, we just paid 168 for those two rooms. So, what, 84 each? So, 42 per person, which is not bad. That included breakfast. So, definitely worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah, we had a good little stay, so we're going to head back home now, and then it's the England game, and then we're going to go to the cinema, but we're pretty much going to end this vlog here, because, yeah, so thank you for joining us in our day out in York, hope you've enjoyed it, and um, we'll see you next time.